Okay, we're back. We just did our second pass of the stop cut and I'm going back with the tip of the knife to make it deeper. We just really want this little thing to be stand out a little better. If you have a very sharp knife, it makes life so much easier when you carve, really. It would be a very frustrating hobby if your knife is not sharp. See how it's not freeing up there, so I've got to go back this way. See, it came out. I know people have a tendency of wanting to pull it out like I'm doing right there. But you don't, You want to avoid that if you can. Because uh, sometimes you'll rip out things that aren't supposed to be pulled out. Yeah, if I pulled that out, that could have ripped all the way up. And I didn't want that. So... All right, all right. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to do his head. So we're going to do his neck area here. I'm going to put a stop cut, and we're going to take it from the bottom up, just like so. You see, I didn't free up, so I'm going to have to recut it again. I was hoping it would free up. Oh, there we go. Okay. See how it's starting to shape up a little bit? Uh, the thing with relief carving is you're just making it the illusion that it's deeper than what it really is. Um, So this, this time I'm going to cut it a little bit more at an angle, not so flat. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. And I'm just going to slowly pull that out. Give it a little more depth right there. Okay. The eyes, we're going to do that next. Just go down, up, and you just want to turn that down like so. Okay, we're just going to pull that out. Worry about the eyeball later. Really all you're doing is outlining everything, but the part of the secret of doing relief carving is making sure your knives are really sharp. Uh, because you don't want to be tearing things out and, you know, that kind of thing. So you just want to be very careful with that. I'm going to go up. Alright. And we're just going to go up like so. There's a lot more to do with the eyes a little bit later, but we're just doing an outline right now. Now I'm going to round the face up a little bit. Okay. the bottom part of the face. All right. And the ears, we're going to just make a little notch there on both of the ears. And I'm just going to notch it down from the top. And from the bottom. So it's a little V cut right there. Separating those two. that one out. Okay, so you see he's coming along. Now the eyes, like I said, we're going to do more with that when we get closer to the time of making that right, uh, the lower part of the eyeball. We're just shaping things up right now and doing a lot of outlining. Alright, uh, when you do relief carving, the, 
a few things that you have to remember is what is in front of what. So, you know, the head is, a, you know, the body and the head. Uh, the head will stick out over the neck. Uh, the arms will come before the, the inside of the body here. Um, you know, and then this will stick out from the body. Same thing with the feet will stick out from the body as well. Okay, so it's just a matter of, of um, making some extra cuts maybe. But you're giving it the illusion that it's like in, in um, one in front of the other. Like a 3D effect. So now I'm doing the arm here. And I'm just going to take that out a little bit. And I'm going to do a little bit more rounding once I get everything um, everything outlined. Now you see here, the feet will probably stick out further than the hand. So we're going to cut that out first. Alright. And then I'll do... If you think if he's sitting out and his feet are out here, of course that's going to be way before the, the rest of his body. Line, a little blue line. You know, sometimes if you have an extra line here and there that don't that doesn't belong there, it can it can mess you up. So I'm trying to take some of that off before we keep carving here. All right, looks like we're running out of time, folks. But you know, if you want to finish the other arm, you can, or you can wait till we come back. All right, we'll be back. Bye-bye.